Now we make a bow knot. Leave enough ribbon and wrap it around your index and middle fingers for two rounds. Thread the long end of the ribbon under the loops from left to right. Then pull it through the loop here and tighten it. Then make some adjustments about the shape of the bow knot. Now cut the tails to appropriate length. The bow knot is completed. Now let's assemble the sunflowers. Twist the wire like this. Then thread it through the center of the calyx. Then we rotate the flower to completely hide the spiral shaped stem wire in the flower. Next, we use a green yarn to wrap around the floral stem wire. Find the proper position on the paper. This is the background paper in the frame. The sunflower will be in the middle on the paper. So we cut the extra ends of the floral stem wire. Now continue to wrap around this floral stem wire. Take out the leaves. The leaf is about 6 to 8 centimeters down below the calyx. Wrap downward and then add the leaf. Now you can add the leaf at this position.
Now continue wrapping for another two centimeters to fix the leaf. Tie a knot with a yarn tail. Then make some adjustments. We assemble the other two sunflowers in the same way, but don't break yarn of the last one after you finish. Shape the petals slightly. Take out another flower and adjust the curvature of the stem. Then wrap around the stems together. Now as the last flower in the same way. Cut off excess yarn tails and then continue to wrap around until all the ends are concealed. <laughs> 